What are we scrapping today? Ah, remote messaging retrieval. <gasps> it's a telephone answering machine. comes with a cassette tape. <gasps> well, covers off, that's plastic. If you collect tapes, you can actually sell these. If you go to your scrapyard, they might not buy them off of you, but if you get a skid of them, say like, I don't know, 600, you can sell that because plastic's recyclable too. You scrap metal guys, you. But uh, I don't have any room in my garage for a skid. Anyway. This stuff's fun to play with. If you uh, take one end and tie it to like the back of somebody's car, you just put duct tape or uh, something else, I don't know. If it's on grass, just stick a nail in it. So you get all this stringy stuff and it just keeps pulling out and 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 pulling out. And pulling out. Oh my gosh. You can apparently with this model call home and check your messages from a distance. Okay, this is gay. Stuff that's not worth anything. <laughs> What's in an answering machine? Oh look, I can use my drill. Let's get rid of these gloves. Plastic. That's probably for a motor. Look at the guts. You ever wonder what's inside of one of these? Little speaker. I know who likes speakers. Mike. Oh, Mike's got a good way for taking these apart too, eh? You got your hatchet. And you get your hammer. Duh! You really don't need any other tools, do ya? So you just take your speaker. It's nice. You can take a hatchet and you can swing at this. Oh, I'm actually turning my table vice in right now if you don't know what that is. I am doing. See the vise? We're putting the vise on a speaker. So we are going to bend this speaker because I don't need it for anything. If you turn it very carefully, now what you want to do is have the magnet be the only thing sticking up above the top of the speaker. As you can see, I am simply turning the vise to bend the speaker further. And then you don't need brute force to do this. Usually it's just a bit of epoxy or glue. And you, you almost have no risk at getting this thing in the eye if you do things gently. You just take the speaker out and scrap it. And you've got another magnet for the magnet pile. Oh, here's the magnets. That's not a magnet. I like to keep my magnets in a, a pile. I don't ever have a hard time trying to keep them that way because they stick together. I don't know how magnetism works. Something to do with the flow of, a mag <laughs> of electricity through a rock that causes a magnetic field to be attracted at opposite polar ends to each other. I don't know, something like that. There we go. That's where I leave it. Coincidentally, I also leave my hard drives right here. What is this one? This one looks like a good one. One gigabyte? That's insane, man. Oh yeah, back to what we were doing. This looks like a low grade board to me. Or brown board, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, this, you can take these off. You know, your CBMs. This board's worth more than this board because there's a copper bearing transformer on here. Transformers, robots in disguise. I'm throwing this in my brown board bin like this because um, this plastic is going to make the board way more and nobody's ever given me a hard time. Hmm. Nothing really interesting in it. Whatever. That was an answering machine. Okay, bye.